Hello, my name is David Giles of Hitex Development Tools and this is a short presentation on generating additional help information within TESI. So here we are back in TESI again and I have a module called Temp Check Example. As you can see by looking at the module properties I'm using the Tascore Tricore VX compiler and the Tasking Crossview uh, debugger and this is on the TC1766 target running under simulation. Um, I have some problems with the configuration of the setup and I'm going to show you now how to get more information to help you debug this particular environment and target. So click on uh, cancel and uh, the first thing which we can do uh, is to try and open the module which has the C source code inside it. To open this module I can simply click on the plus icon or if the module needs to be re-examined I can hold down the control key and press on the plus icon. Tessie has now opened the module and has correctly identified that there are two functions contained within it, one called frost check and one called frost check with hysteresis. You'll notice the message window didn't actually display anything. Now we can get additional information within this window by coming up to the help menu and clicking on support, logging, process creation on. So now if I close this module down again and I hold down the control key and press on the plus icon and then Tessie will actually put some additional information for us within the message window which relates to the process creation. As you can see here there are some strings which are passed through to the tools to help with the generation of this module. There is actually a parser which is examining the C source code within that module and as it's examined we will get some information, some additional information contained within the message window. And now the process is complete and you can see that Tessie has again correctly identified there are two functions within the module. This additional information within the messages window can help us identify problems that Tessie may have when it's opening modules. Normally if there's a syntax error or something like that uh, within the C source code, sometimes it's not possible to actually open um, the module. By switching on some of these additional uh, login scripts, we can examine the login scripts to identify where there are potential problems. Um, so you can turn these on. To turn them off is very simple. So it's help, support, logging, and in this case process creation I will turn off. Um, it's possible to clear the information that's contained within the message window by coming down into that messages window, hitting right click and delete all. This time I'll go help, support, logging, and this time with the parser, uh, the parser actually examines the code to identify uh, the interface and I will turn this on. And when I re-examine the module again by holding the control key down and pressing the plus button, you'll see that I will get a different set of message strings within the window below. As you can see the message strings are a lot more comprehensive with the parser logging turned on and it is possible to work through this to try and identify potential problems where you may get an error for example. I'll turn the login off again now. So support, logging, the parser and turn that off. In this particular case the, the process creation and the parser there's no uh, problems because we have correctly identified the two functions. So I'll execute some tests now. Here are here are five prepared test cases. So if I highlight test case number three, click on the razor cat symbol for execute tests and then we have generate driver and run the test and click on execute. You can see that there'll be a problem with the execution of these uh, tests because there's a problem within the make file template. I should get some error messages now displayed within the message window. So here we have error make file template version not defined and uh, there's a a string here which is basically uh, relates to the makefile template. So there's obviously a problem here which means that I've not actually set up the uh, the tasking and uh, tricore environment properly. So we've not actually set up the makefile template correctly, we've not correctly configured the environment 
and so we can use the messages window to give us some indication as to kind of what's not right within the setup uh, however there will come a point uh, in complicated setups or if you're doing this for the first time that you'll require the help of Razorcat and Tessie has been designed with a view to generating a support file that can be emailed to Razorcat this will allow Razorcat to open up an environment which is identical to the one which you're using and they can look at the uh, the files contained within it to identify the problems which you're having and to generate this support file is very simple you come up into this help menu and you do help support and click on create support file uh, and here we have a list of the items which we want to contain within the support file so we uh, click all of the boxes and then click on OK and now Tessie has successfully created a support file and you can see where that support file has actually been located so in this case it's c colon tessie tessie underscore 2.9.733 underscore support info dot uh, tgz and then we can simply email this to support at razorcat.com in certain circumstances if the code which you're writing is very sensitive you may not want to send a support file and um, this is because the source code is actually contained within the TGZ file that is emailed to Razorcat. In this case it would be advantageous for you to be able to reproduce the problem with a stripped down version of your code which you're happy to be released to external parties. As you can see we have logging information for the process creation which is basically the calling of uh, batch files parser which is generally for the examining of the C source modules using a GNU uh, parser uh, although the min GW versions of TESI sometimes uses the parser that is present in the C compiler so IAR for example uh, if you're doing IAR development work the parser that's used to examine the source code is actually the IAR parser uh, we also have some logging information for the instrumenter the make file commands and finally the uh, target communication. The target communication uh, also has a, a high level and a low level uh, sub-menu. Uh, the one which is probably most useful to you when you're getting a new uh, embedded target up and running uh, will be the make file commands. This is when uh, the make file template that you have created uh, is invoked by Tessie with a view to compiling and linking your code. Quite often if you're not able to compile or link correctly you will get uh, certain error messages displayed within the window by turning on the support logging you'll get a far more detailed picture of what's actually going on when the compilation and link build process goes on in addition to the self-help information which you get from the messages window um, Razorcat are able to look at your environment uh, through the use of support files um, if both support files and the logging information is not enough it is also possible to activate a WebEx session uh, with Razorcat where they're able to control your PC remotely. Um, this is a very very useful thing to use when uh, perhaps you may be using an emulation system uh, which Razorcat don't have within their laboratory. So this will effectively allow them to use your PC and your environment and be able to uh, run Tessie as you see it now but your screen will be available to view at Razorcat's end and this will help them to identify any potential problems which you have. Thank you for listening to the presentation today. If you're interested in finding out a little bit more on Tessie and you're from UK or Ireland, then please contact myself, uh, David Giles, um, on djiles at hitex.co.uk or for other regions around the world, then please contact my colleague uh, Frank Buchner, frank.buchner at hitex.de. Thank you.